is Kay Leno reporting you live from the usual location. It's sad that I'm reporting you live from the usual location because it's spring break. I should be out chilling in the hot sun somewhere, but nope, I'm still here. But let's move on because this week I'm going to talk about spring break. Well, actually, five things that you shouldn't do on spring break so you can have a successful one and stay out of trouble and all that good stuff. First and foremost, if you're going to be local like me for spring break, this is something you should do. Dress weather appropriate. I know around my way, it ain't getting to Miami weather like 80s and 90s just yet. So, we getting what, like 70s all week? I don't need y'all dressing in little booty shorts and shorts and anything just like revealing skin in general because it's 70, it ain't 85. I seen it last week, we had 60 degree weather and people got mad hype and soup for no reason. Looking freaking ridiculous, acting like they at the beach or something. When it's wind going, it almost blew me down, but then again, I'm skinny, but I saw the fat person still get, almost get blown out. Just because it's sunny doesn't mean it's going to be hot all the time, and your people need to just take it back. Just watch the Glen Hurricane source or somebody like that and see what's going on with the weather. Don't get too hyped too soon, because that's how you're going to get sick. Then you're going to come to work or school and then get me sick, and I don't like being sick. All right, here comes number two. I shouldn't even have to tell people this, but a lot of people ain't logical. But for spring break, you need to spend money within your means. Don't be spending all the money that you need to spend for loans upon graduation or to using to pay for your child's diapers or just money you just got from work. And then you just go in there and just try and buy out whatever fancy mall, wherever you go, Jamaica, Africa, uh, Miami, Dade County, something like that. And just get declined instantly. Just put a little money aside. And if you can't have money like that, don't even travel. Stay local. I know I'm staying local and I got a bit of change. If I don't want to toot my own horn, of course. Pause. Alright, number three for spring break. Don't be taking off work for BS reasons. You just got a job. Don't take over spring break. Go work your job. People just getting jobs and then just trying to fly all over the place and not looking good. When you get back, you ain't gonna have a job. And you're never gonna have spring break again because you're gonna be working as a janitor somewhere, picking up my fries at McDonald's that I spilled by accident and I'm too late to pick up because I'm rich and famous. It's a dream of mine. I hope it happens one day. And I'm going to just point and laugh at you while you're picking up my dirty half chew fries. That's good to imagine, isn't it? Alright, here's number four on what you shouldn't be doing on spring break. Don't be doing any activity that you're not familiar with or just shouldn't be doing in the first place. Come on. We all hear about Eddie Murphy dying on Twitter like every other day about him being in a jet skiing accident. So if you black, don't even try jet skiing at all. Well, if you white, don't even try jet skiing because it's freaking stupid and dangerous and most people do it around where sharks are at. I won't even bang with something like that. If you black, you definitely can be doing white water rafting. Why do you think it's called white water rafting? Because it's not for us. It's dangerous and most of us get killed because most of us can't even swim in the first place. I know I can't swim. Bungee jumping. Don't think just because it's spring break you got to do something crazy. If you're scared of heights, why are you going to bungee jump and if the thing don't snap, you might just die out of fear of panic. That is possible, people. Just do something safe. Just go to the club, get tipsy, something like that. Don't be doing all this strange stream sports like you on the ESPN zone or something like that. Dang for y'all. Alright, last but not least, for the number one thing not to do on spring break, you will hear people talk about whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, whatever happens in ATL stays in ATL. That is not true at all. That's a bunch of bull crap. I'm about to tell you why. You wanna know some things that won't just stay somewhere and will travel you throughout their life? Hmm. STD is the one. Kids, if you go do some random girl or dude and you get pregnant or something to have a kid, that kid's gonna follow you to wherever you go after spring break. And of course warrants, so you go vandalizing people just tearing up hotel rooms. Don't think just when you go back home, that's gonna avoid you. Nope. It's gonna follow you right to the next jail or whatever, people. Spring break is meant to be fun, so have fun, be safe, but more importantly, be logical. Alright, that's Kaylon's Corner for this week. I want y'all to check out Worst of the Week, Volume 6. That show's going on. It's hot. It's a hot new show. I want you to promote it for me. Speaking of promotion, go like my like page, the K Leno promo page on Facebook. Hit me up on Twitter at K Leno and at Press Pause Pro. Check out my Tumblr. Show me love on there. I can use some more followers. And if you like this video, like it, share it, subscribe to me, Goonies06. And beside that, have a good spring break. Have a good week. I'll catch you later. All right, I'm out.